Hello everyone, my name is Waffle and today's video is going to be how to add effects to your voice live on your microphone. So this would mean, you know, auto-tuning your voice or, um, you know, adding like effects to your voice that make you sound like a little kid or, you know, high-pitched kid or a very deep voice man. <laughs> I, I don't know how to word that correctly, I don't know why, but um, it's pretty simple and it requires two programs the rest is all there for you so first things first where you want to go to is BAM Reaper you want to download Reaper Reaper you have to pay for however they give you a um, how do I say they give you a free trial and uh, you can use this for 60 days 60 days before you have to pay so that's amazing it's good just click download Reaper and download your version which would be Windows 64 bit or Windows 32 bit Click download and once it's finished downloading, install it and you should be good to go. Once that's downloaded, you will need to install a VB Audio uh, Virtual Cable. You're going to scroll all the way down until you come here, install Virtual Cable and click download. Download it and make sure you run it as administrator. So let me just show you guys really quickly. I'll save this on my desktop and so you guys don't do anything incorrectly. Uh, extract it to your desktop. And when you come inside here, scroll all the way down, or it should be right here, but uh, depending on your system, if it's 64 or 32 bit, uh, right click whatever one that you want to run and click run as administrator. And then yes, and install. There you go. That easy. Alright, guys, so, so you don't do anything incorrectly. So once you have that installed, what you will need to finally do is, um, yeah. Yeah, just restart your computer after that because you need to restart it before the virtual audio cable can work. Once you install that, it should come as in. Sorry, uh, that's not the right one either. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Playback devices. You should see cable input there, so that's good. That's how you know install it correctly. Uh, next, you want to do is start up Reaper. Reaper should automatically be on your desktop as the uh, thing. If that's how you want it to be, start up Reaper and wait until it loads up. And it reloads up. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, if you use it for more than 60 days, you will need a license. And I use it nine times for total two days, so we're good. All right, so as you see, my voice is moving here because I have everything set up. You won't have this here, so first things first, you want to go into your options and then preferences. So we'll do that again so you guys don't get lost. Options, go all the way down to preferences, or you can just do control P. All right. So once you're here, you should make sure that you're inside the audio, actually, yeah, audio. It should be device. That should be the first one that pops up anyway. Make sure your audio system is on direct sound. Your input device is your microphone. Your microphone is what you're going to use to, um, well, yeah, your microphone is going to what go in, and then it's going to go through the cable input, which is going to edit your voice. So make sure the uh, microphone is first. Uh, then you have your cable input, which is going to be output. Make sure that's cable input. See here, and then input device, your microphone. Sample format to 32 bit, and uh, you're good here. Now, once you're here, you won't have this, so just so you guys can. Oops. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Remove and remove. So you guys should have this. Create a new, so um, right click here and do insert new track or what you guys can do is control T okay so once you have control T right click right here right click and click monitor input right click one more time and click record disable so we'll do that one more time so you guys know what to do right click here and click input monitor then after that right click one more time and click on record disable now once you have that set up, you can now click this red bullseye. Once you click the red bullseye, you can click on the FX. And then here's where all the fun stuff is at. So to pitch your voice, I'm going to click on, uh, I'm going to go to Kakos, and then, I know, it sounds weird. Or cock, Kakos, yeah, Kakos, and then Rhea Pitch, and then click OK. And now here's where you have all the fun stuff. Um, Going towards the right is what's going to make your voice more high-pitched. So I normally keep this around 
around that edge, depending on how your voice is. So if you have a deeper voice, you would want to go higher, around 6. And if you want to have a deep voice, I advise going around 4.75, around that area, just so that you are understandable. Because, you know, having it any higher than that would make your voice pretty terrible, and no one wants to hear that. It sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo. So once you have it selected, just make sure the box is checked, and then you're good to go. So to enable this in Steam games, you want to go to your Steam library, and then you want to head over to your settings. Now that you're in your settings, what you want to do now is, you know, um, change the device, sorry, <laughs> and then change it to cable input. So just click, uh, set as default device, set as default communications device, and then click OK, and then I'm finished changing the settings. And now that will be there as cable input. And you should be good to go. If you want to test it out, see how your voice sounds, click on test microphone just to make sure it sounds perfect. There is quite a 185 millisecond delay, so when you speak something into your microphone, it will not present it that exact moment you say it. It will have like a one second difference, or a, yeah, 185 millisecond difference. So, it's not bad, but you know, it just won't happen exactly as you say it, so, also. To add auto tune, you uh, want to right click and click on add FX. And then you want to go to Kakos and look for, where are you? Re attune. Here we go. And then once you're here, I normally set mine to automatic uh, pitch correction and put that on, where is it? E, whoops, that's F, E, and then E major. E major. That's what I have mine on. I put your attack time on 1 or 2. And I prefer to, but you know, you can test this out on Steam and stuff like that. And yeah, you're good to go. You can have both selected at the same time. If you're inside of a game, I advise that you restart your game before you do this because it usually doesn't take effect. It's like multiplayer games like CSGO. I tried that before and it didn't work. So make sure you either relaunch the game or relaunch the match for you to hear your voice. It's pretty cool, guys. I did enjoy using this in some casual matches, you know, singing auto-tune with everyone else and making everyone laugh. That's what I like to do with this. I don't like to, you know, use this as a way to, how do I say, annoy people, you know. I mean, you can do it that way. Hey, you can use this with the freaking, um, what is it called? Uh, the slam that I made a tutorial on not too long ago. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up this tutorial here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you did, make sure you hit a like down below. And uh, yeah, comment and let us know which tutorial you would like next. Um, also last but not least, I think I forgot to say something. Did I tell you guys to press this right here? The bullseye? I, I, I'm pretty sure I told you that, right? But to hear your voice and anything to work, you just want to click on this. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like down below, comment, all that fun stuff, subscribe to the channel if you're new, or subscribe to the channel if you like the tutorials, or if you want more, or anything. Goodbye, guys. See ya.